Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekend express love read. I always get tongue tied from the 15th to the 17th. Oh, hello. You just had the lovers flip over while I was shuffling those. So we'll just look at that and remember it for later. Uh, this is a love express love reading for the 15th to the 17th of November. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you leave me a comment. Our Tarot Tribe is so good at providing advice and uh, everyone's really responsive. So by all means, tell us what's going on down in the comment section below. Mm, seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, this is getting very interesting, Virgo. Um, I'm also going to be releasing some new merchandise very soon, just in time for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. And um, what else have I got? I feel like that's all for the moment. Let's get straight into these love messages for you, Virgo. So Virgo love messages. Oh, they're so talky today. We'll take that one. Okay, so we've got the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Love messages, please. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. oh there it is again lovers again Oof. it always trips me out when they come out twice in a row of all the cards and they come out on their own so I don't make it up oh and there we go okay I'm kind of feeling like something has ended recently that kind of gave you a bit of peace um and it's now you might have actually uh this is tying into a reading from almost not last weekend the week the week before i think for you guys where there was two energies and i feel like you have actually ended it with the one energy and you're feeling much better about that and now you're ready to kind of move with this second person that was kind of on your radar but you had to end it with this other person and it's moving forward pretty quickly so that's exciting all right let's get some more information on the death card please information on the death card hmm. could have been an Aries that you ended it with but I feel like you actually had to they weren't very happy about it obviously um, there was definitely some I want to say gruffness about it I don't know why I feel like that they may have tried to manipulate you or make you feel bad you may have tried to manipulate them or make them feel bad. You would never do that, Virgo, would you? Either way, it ended, um, which kind of, it almost like you knew that you had to do something and you'd kind of been thinking about it. And then you had this moment of, oh, I feel a bit better now that I've done that. Like I've actually taken care of it. There was some procrastination going on big time. What is this lovers? Okay, that's interesting. So... When this devil card uh, clarifies the lovers, it can obviously mean a toxic love, a codependent relationship, a relationship where it's not really built on the right kinds of things. Now, the fact that there's also the chariot here kind of says that you guys could be moving at a million miles a minute and it's not all that it seems. So that could be why this is coming there's a lot of passion here, but that doesn't mean that that makes it right. So be very cautious. Anything else for the devil card, please? Anything else for the devil card? I feel like that's why the reading's coming through because you're being told, hey, slow down here. You're jumping in feet first and not thinking. All right? So I know it's exciting and passionate and you kind of cleared the way, but don't let this chariot run off. What's the chariot? Please? Oh, okay, that was easy. Yes, well, like you know, you know that the faster this chariot runs, the more it kind of just doesn't feel quite right. 
listen to that tap into it you have the uh the high priestess in reverse here it is trying to tell you that this is moving too quickly don't ignore it because if you ignore it you will end up running this little chariot right into the side of the tower and it will crumble I feel like as it's exciting and it's fun and you're like swept away by it. But all I am hearing is like a emergency evacuation siren, basically. Um, what's the outcome for this weekend? Please, for Virgo, outcome for this weekend. Oh, no, didn't want to come. Okay, that's hilarious. Yes. It could be that this other person is going to still be messaging you this weekend because they're not quite over it. Yeah, I think that that's going to be the focus. That this person is going to be kind of annoying you. They could be a Pisces, um, the person that you've ended it with. So if you've got any cross watchers from Pisces watching, I, I kind of feel like that's what this is in relation to because it's, it's the person that you're not offering the cup to is trying to avoid this everyone avoid this ending um and avoid having to walk away from all these cups so i am sensing that situation happening pisces if you're cross watching don't do it let them go let them go let this virgo go into this relationship and see what happens if they come back for you they'll come back for you but it's not going to be this weekend what else have we got outcome please for this weekend Oh, right. Take both of those. Okay, so I think you're going to have to make a decision about whether or not to take this to the next level because it is moving too quickly and I think you, you might need to slow it down. Um, what's the Ace of Cups in reverse? This is turning into a full reading, <laughs> Virgo. Oh. Okay, yeah, because you guys feel like it's a meant-to-be connection and you're stuck in this whole, oh, no, but it's meant to be because when it's right, it's right. But really, it's just, it's just I feel like it's going to be a disaster, Virgo. I'm just letting know. Um, and, yeah, you're going to have an option this weekend to decide to slow it down or just let the charity, the charity, or the charity, the chariot, um, run off down the hill with no brakes. Mm, don't say I didn't tell you so next week when it all falls apart. Advice, please. Okay, advice came out straight away then. <laughs> okay, so this is sometimes a yes card with the sun and you have the queen of pentacles in reverse. So yes, hold back that pentacle. You need to pull back, Virgo. This is you guys. It's okay to withhold. Spirit is saying, yes, please withhold. Please withhold. Um, you just need to pull back. It's moving too quickly. It could be the real deal. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm just saying you need to just chillax over there. I do feel like there's an element of holding on to the promise that, oh, but this is the one. Um, and like I said, it's not that it's not the one, but it's going to fast not be the one if you let that chariot. Yeah, but you're loving the attention. Don't hold on to the fact that you're holding on to the attention because it feels good. Virgos, you love attention. You love it when someone's paying you attention and you kind of like, you're like a cat that gets patted too much sometimes. And that's kind of what's got you letting that chariot run down the hill without any brakes because you're trying to hold on to this feeling over here. But it feels good when this person loves me. And it feels good when they compliment me all the time. It feels good that they want to spend all their time with me all the time. It, it does feel good. It's also extraordinarily toxic. Okay. So you guys do you, but I'm just saying that's what it is for me. Okay, uh, let's say Romance Angels for Virgo, please. Romance Angels for Virgo. Heart to heart conversations. And this is what I mean about there's going to be a point this weekend where you're going to be able to take advantage of having an honest conversation about just pulling back a little bit without like putting the brakes on it fully. Um, I'm not sure that you're going to get that opportunity again without running your chariot into the side of the tower. So spirit is kind of saying, look, take notice, pull back, 
don't hold on to the how good it makes you feel to be loved how, like slow it down kind of thing yeah all right that's what i've got for you virgo don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel leave me a comment on the bottom of the deck codependency i kid you not um leave me a comment down in the comment section below and i will see you right back here for the week please hit the notification button hit this subscribe button and i'll talk to you soon bye